We are continuing with the structure seen on the visceral surface of the liver. As I said before, there is an H pattern of structures. We have con completed the structure seen on the porta hepatis or the crossbar of that H. Now we are continuing with the structures on the left side of that H shaped pattern. As I mentioned in the previous video, this structure that you see on the lower part is the, the ligamentum teres hepatis. And you will be asked what the ligamentum teres hepatis is. It is a remnant of the umbilical vein. It is the obliterated umbilical vein. Okay, this was uh, dealt with along with falciform ligament in the front view of the liver. Now we are going into the upper part of that H. The upper part of that H, if that is asked what it is, your answer is it is ligamentum venosum. Ligamentum venosum. All right. So what is ligamentum venosum? If you are asked what ligamentum venosum is, then you have to say that it is a remnant of a fetal structure called ductus venosus. So here it is umbilical vein and here it is ductus venosus. What is ductus venosus? Ductus venosus is a very important shunt, vascular shunt that was present in the fetal circulation. So to understand what is ductus venosus, uh, we will have a look at how the liver was in the fetal period. So this is the liver in the fetal period that is before uh, birth. Uh, the liver of that fetus is looking like this in the visceral surface. You have that same H pattern of structures as you can see here with this is the crossbar of that H and having this large uh, structure. This is the portal vein. This was mentioned earlier in the porta hepatis video. So portal vein you can see it is dividing into a left branch because this is the left side of the liver and this is the right side of the liver. So this is the left branch of the portal vein and this is the right branch of the portal vein. And you can see that this structure, the umbilical vein is basically draining into the left branch of the portal vein. Okay, so that is the umbilical vein. Umbilical vein is basically carrying the oxygenated blood from the placenta onto the liver. But here, this is the important point. It is not all this oxygenated blood is not being delivered to the liver. But from here, you have the next shunt. I'll show that shunt with this color. Okay, this is the shunt from the umbilical vein. The blood is being carried through this shunt and this shunt is called the ductus venosus as I mentioned before. And the ductus venosus is carrying the blood towards the inferior vena cava. Very important. It is carrying the blood towards the inferior vena cava through maybe a short part of the left hepatic vein. This is the left hepatic vein. As you know, uh, hepatic veins are carrying blood from the liver into the heart, into the inferior vena cava, into the heart. But portal vein was carrying blood towards the liver. Okay. Here you can see that this ductus venosus is basically shunting the blood. All the oxygenated blood that was carried by the umbilical vein is shunted by the ductus venosus into the inferior vena cava and into the heart, into the right atrium of the heart. So the point is that if this ductus venosus was not there, the blood that was carried by the umbilical vein would have been uh, distributed through the portal vein into the liver tissue and the liver would have consumed all the oxygen in, inside that blood. So uh, avoiding that, the ductus venosus will basically shunt the blood into the right atrium and thus into more important areas of the growing fetus. For example, the brain, the cardiac musculature, all this uh, needs more oxygenated blood in, the, in that developing period. So uh, for that development, ductus venosus is basically shunting the blood away from the liver and into the in inferior vena cava through the left hepatic vein into the inferior vena cava and uh, into the heart. So the point that we need to know uh, here from the uh, you know liver anatomy perspective is that ligamentum venosum is a shunt that in the fetal circulation was a ductus venosus and it was connecting the left branch of the portal vein as you can see here it is connecting the left branch of the portal vein into the left hepatic vein okay left hepatic vein will immediately drain into the inferior vena cava so what is ductus venosus it is a shunt that was connecting the left branch of the portal vein into the left hepatic vein and thus shunting the blood away from the uh, liver during fetal circulation okay thank you